In August of 2004, Jim McGreevy, then the governor of New Jersey, stepped down after a former male aide accused him of sexual harassment. And so my truth is that I am a gay American. Since then, he and his wife have both written memoirs about their time together, and a few days ago, McGreevy confirmed an allegation made by the couple's former driver that they had engaged in three-way sex. Now, another witness has come forward. I was Jim McGreevy's personal chef for eight years. <laughs> I saw a lot. Cooked a lot. It was a very fulfilling time in my life. Uh, based on those experiences, I've written a tell-all cookbook. It's called Sugar and Spice and Gay Sex. Elliot Spitzer used to come by all the time. One time he came right up to me. He said, I want you to bake a cake that looks like an Asian woman's thigh. And then he threw $1,000 in my face. I baked the cake. Did you ever have sex with Governor McGreevy yourself? No, I didn't. Did you ever want to? Not really. It would have been nice to be asked, though. What other people came by the mansion? Larry Craig used to come by, uh, Clarence Thomas, Amy Winehouse. Peter Dinklage was there all the time. He liked figs. Oh, yeah, there were three ways, four ways. I once saw a 19-way collapse. Seven people had to be hospitalized. Are there any recipes in this book that you'd like to tell us about? My specialty is a recipe for a creme brulee that can fit two adult men inside it. Sounds delicious.